What do you want now? I solved your husband's murder. I have an arrest warrant. You arrested someone last night. We arrested the wrong person because you wanted us to, Tasha. Go to school. Mom, tell you didn't do this. Tell what really happened. This video is sponsored by Colored Rain Cosmetics. The makeup you will see on my lovely wife was sent to us by Colored Rain. They have a collaboration with Lions Gates and Stars and the Power Team. Fellas, looking for a good Valentine's gift? Check them out. The other sponsor, Velocity HDTV. Go to the Facebook page if you're looking for another stream to replace Stars. And now let's get into this video. What's happening, Power Crew? <laughs> We've seen the finale, it is over with. You have put this to bed. Power started way back before football in August and it's just now ending mid-February. Honey, what do you think? It has been a long time coming. Oh, by the way, this lovely makeup y'all see her wearing, show, show them who sent that. Oh goodness. Color rain, folks, sent us the makeup. Yeah. Yeah, 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 fellas, it's Valentine's Day. Um, you want them to look beautiful. You don't want them to look like a clown. That makeup will keep them looking good. Oh, goodness. Follow me on the podcast. Follow me on Instagram. We're going to summarize this. We're not going to go scene by scene. We're just going to summarize it and tell you how we think it should have ended. Here's my first thought, honey. I feel like this could have been a great ending if they would have not kicked the can down the road, meaning that they took a break from damn near Thanksgiving till January. Then they're going to wait till after the Super Bowl, two more weeks to bring this ending that most of us seen coming. Your thoughts? Mm -hmm. I can completely agree mm -hmm. with you. They drug it out so long Man. that a lot of the emotional investment that I had right. in the in the series was gone. gone. I, was, I just wanted to see, just get it over with. Let me right. see what happened. So, uh, yeah, I, I can completely agree. For those of you that was following me from the summer and we they first started talking about Ghost was going to be shot, I picked two people. Tariq or Tasha, and one of these people wind up being the one to pull the trigger. To summarize what happened, they recap the holes that was missed by Tasha, Tariq, and Cooper Sacks. Tariq shot his father, the mom busts out to try to scream and holler and save him, and in the end, Cooper Sacks winds up becoming the head AUSA in that office, firing Warren, but there were some twists and turns along the way. Mm -hmm. First twist and turn, was Quentin. A lot of people thought Quentin had something to do with it. And what was you thinking when Tasha showed up at Quentin's house ready to give up them wet panty drawers? Oh, anyway, when she knocked on the door. <laughs> it went like this. Mm -hmm. He lets her in. Uh, he had his baby on his shoulder, right. about to put her to sleep. Mm -hmm. She waltzes in after he puts the baby to sleep and uh, was ready to perform some sexual favors. <laughs> Tasha. <laughs> Tasha was. Mm -hmm. And he already knew that something was up. It was a thirst trap. Like, how you just going to pop up over here all of a sudden and, and want to sleep with me? Right, and right. So, I mean, I'm glad he was smart about it. And he asked, well, what is it? What do you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. I mean, most men know that women that don't know you that well ain't just showing up at your house to give up draws unless they're going through some deep emotional deficit. Well, or, or they could already know you. So, yeah, it, she knew him. They had a relationship. They almost had sex at the daycare center. But what happened the last time she saw him? She told him to leave her life. Right. Because it was too complicated. Right. Then you pop back up. So he knew something was up. He knew something Thank was up. Thankfully. So, yeah. to me, all that did was stoke the fire for those that just felt like Quentin had something to do with it. Mm -hmm. And then they fast forward some more. We get on Tariq walking around there. What is up with these young kids on power and they damn eyebrows? You had... Um, what's the name son looking like 3T? Tariq looked like he got isosceles parallelograms in his eyes. What, what's up with their eyebrows? Oh, no. uh, so we see him in his do-rag thinking he tough. Do-rag looking like a bandana. He ain't tough. And he's talking this talk about he's got to take care of his mama, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And the title of this thing was not exactly how we planned. Mm -hmm. Which lets you know that Tasha and Tariq had a plan. Uh -huh. And that plan included... Tariq got a gun from Dre that he was going to use to shoot his daddy and he was going to try to pin it on Dre. Mm -hmm. Then we start fast forwarding to the end. We seen in that first scene where Tasha saw that Quentin had a gun. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And she was going to throw this man under the bus even though he's got a kid. So the plan kept changing as things unfolded throughout right. the show. So mm-hmm. one, they didn't stick with whatever plan they had, you know, up, up front. Right. Both of them still keeping secrets from each other and doing stuff on the side. Mm-hmm. Um, so... <laughs> I'm not surprised that things fell apart for them just because look who you're dealing with. Well, Rodriguez and them messed up one plan. Mm-hmm. Dre messed up another plan. Mm-hmm. Um, Councilman Tate, he was supposed to have been involved and his plan got messed up too. Mm-hmm. So then they just have to keep putting just another keep plan another plan on top of another plan. Yeah. And ultimately it led to what we all thought um, one of those two pulling the trigger and it wound up being um, Tariq. Mm-hmm. But what was funny in this episode was at the end, and for me, ladies and gentlemen, the episode didn't pick up until after Ghost was shot and they went to the lawyer. (laughs) They went to the lawyer about who's going to get what financial benefits from Ghost dying. Tell them how you felt about Tasha St. Patrick ain't getting nothing. The grandma got her rent paid for a year and she over there complaining. Right. The little girl who we never see, I thought she went upstairs and we're going to never come back downstairs. She uh, got a little something. Yeah. But because Raina was dead, Tariq got Raina's part plus his part and true uh-huh. and gave Tasha St. Patrick nothing. Damn. Right. <laughs> Thoughts on that, honey? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, just, well, knowing Tasha's character how that unfolded during mm-hmm. this season right um it, it serves her right mm-hmm. um but i also didn't want to read walking off with with you know a payday either right, right he did kind of stick it to him by making him have to go to college for four years that's how he got him and graduate mm-hmm. with 3.5 3.5 and and one i mean so he you know you killed your daddy and then you up here fussing that Oh, he's still trying to control me if he did in his death. How did you had a nerve to let that even come out your mouth? You just killed this man. He left you money, and mm-hmm. then you fussing that he wanted you to go to school to get the money. Right, uh-huh. right. And in, in, in order to speed up the process, because Tasha knew Tariq wasn't going to get into any college, she goes and broker a deal with Stern, Simon, mm-hmm. to you know exchange, use um, nepotism, and privilege to get her get her son into a college in exchange for giving him truth back. Mm-hmm. And along the way, he decided he needs to get him an affirmative action hire, which was going to be Miss St. Patrick. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts on that? I'm just tripping off how Tasha looked at him like, I don't work. What you talking about? You want me to work? <laughs> she took the damn job, didn't she? I don't know. Did she take Yeah, it? she took the job. She took the job. She was supposed to go to work when they came and arrested her. Uh, okay. Then we move on to Blanca and the crew pulling up to arrest her to, after Quentin was smart enough to know when he was in that car with Tasha and he heard them shots to go over to whatever drugstore that had a camera up, get him a Red Bull, so he had proof where he was at. Mm-hmm. And she tried to rat on Q, sexed him up, and he had an alibi. Mm-hmm. That's a good man, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's a damn good. That's a smart brother. That brother had a plan. Thoughts yeah. on that? I mean, it t- it tells you how how low Tasha is. She not, knowing this man has a daughter, right? And you about to walk up? You walking up in his place, about to blow up his life she to already, save your son? Well, what about how she killed uh, Lakeisha and left her son right. left her son out right. to dry? And and to Ghost to, caught her out on that. Yeah. You know, you at least I didn't kill a single mo- single mother. What is Keisha going? What is Keisha's son going to do now that he don't have a mother? And she trying to save her son, who's so much better and, and, and better and, and worth saving than anybody else. He about to blow up, blow up this man's life. Mm-hmm. His daughter's daddy gonna be in jail probably for the rest of his life, and she don't give a care. And he's and Quentin still gonna probably get in. Well. He probably made a deal with Rodriguez because you know that gun he had was an illegal gun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but he probably made the right deal. Like, I'm not taking no fall right. for this woman. What, what, for right. what? Well, I'm going to take a fall for this chick. What'd she do for me? Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Then we move on. Uh, we see they arrest Tasha. Does she look pregnant to you? I don't. Is she a little bit. I think she's pregnant want, in real life. We'll, I probably. guess we'll find out sooner yeah, we, or later. We're about to find out. Then we move on. You see them cut the two scenes. They start playing that same sad song they played when Raina died. Hmm. You see Tariq going to college. You see her going to jail. And at that moment, we was debating, are they going to continue a spinoff with Tasha? Mm-hmm. 
And you were saying it reminds you of what? She remind me she gonna be the new cookie line from Empire, y'all. She about to go in jail, jail. be it out her time, uh -huh. and then when she get out, she gonna be set up by Tariq. Pretty much, if he's still alive. <laughs> and now, like we said, Cooper Sacks is the head of the AUSA office. But something that made me mad with his role was how is Tariq pulling strings on him because he saw him in truth trying to attempt to kill Ghost when he was Cooper Sacks. He has nothing on you. Apparently, Truth does not have cameras in there. Right. Because they would have been pulled to cameras. Right. How is Cooper Sacks being manipulated by this little badass kid that still need a butt whipping? Yeah. And I'm still mad that he just got off scot free without yeah. any consequences either. I was, wait, I was waiting <laughs> Man, on Cooper Sacks' day to come, and it never came. It never came. It ne but it might come in the spinoff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there are a couple of people that still need to get some get back. And y'all saw they announced all these other ghosts. There's like five books. And don't forget that's coming on Tuesday for life. I will be reviewing that show. I will be covering all these other spinoffs. Now, honey, how would you have changed the way the story went? To make it, to make it better? Uh, let me think about that for a minute. Well, while you think, I'll tell them what I would have done. This particular finale would have been fine if they would not have kicked it down the road. Like, we didn't need the break from Thanksgiving until January. Then we didn't need the Super Bowl break. If they would have just went week by week from when it first started in October, we would have been more invested in this particular episode, and it would have sat fine for me. If I had to rearrange anything, I would have possibly made an ending where someone would have shot and killed Tariq, and maybe would have let Tasha be the one to either pull the trigger on Ghost or send him to jail, and I would have had somebody get Cooper Sack's ass in trouble, and then they would have had to write, rewrite the whole spinoff, man. I mean, mm. fuck that. I think I would have had Ghost live. Okay. So basically, you have Tariq shooting Ghost. Right. Ghost ends up surviving and going on about his life and turning his back on Tariq forever and Tasha forever, and you got them struggling. I don't know if they could have potentially went off into a spinoff as well, but now you have Ghost recovering. Eventually he get back on top. Right. Then you have Tasha and Tariq kind of doing their thing and, and trying to come up in a drug game on right. their own. And, and so you have that adversarial relationship between the two of them because Ghost don't want nothing to do with them, but he's doing his stuff in politics and you got them trying to get back at Ghost. I, I would definitely rock with that. They could have let Ghost live mm -hmm. and had him go on, be the lieutenant governor, and had all that stuff looming in the background right. that would have made for chaos. You could have right. even had Cooper Sack still get appointed to the head of the AUSA office mm -hmm. trying to take him down. You could have had Tasha or Tate trying to get revenge on Ghost while this man is lieutenant governor that would have made for a great new story. Yeah. And you could have had something that a lot of the fellas wanted, Ghost and Ramona, put it on you, getting it put on them. Mm -hmm. No comment for no, that? No comment you, you on that one. But, 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 but you was fine with Quentin and Tasha, huh? Getting it on, you was fine with that. But you don't want to see old Ghost getting out of here. You just trying to get a reaction out of me, whatever. I, I'm get, I get what I want <laughs> Anyways, around here. Another twist that I think would have been interesting, and I think they probably, I think they should have done, is mm -hmm. have Tariq eventually turn on Tasha. Right. So I think they should have had him. I mean, if you're trying to have him come up with no conscience, and I think in in Kanan's, if he's kind of Kanan's protege, mm -hmm. it would have been fitting for him not only to kill Ghost, but for him when he was being interviewed to say my mama did it and throw Tasha under the bus. Yeah, and that, let her be surprised by the fact that he did it. That would have worked too. That definitely would have worked. So ladies and gentlemen, post all your comments below. We love reading them. We will be following up on all these other series. I will be doing those trailer reviews where I pick clues apart. I will continue to do that. For my nerd guys that follow me, I am revving up the Marvel content all over again, so y'all stick with this channel. And me and Larry will get back to being live as things start to kind of settle down this year because we've got our hands in a couple of projects. Again, shouts out to Colored Rain for hitting up Dr. MD Tyson over here with some makeup. Shouts out to Velocity HD. They are the new streaming service. If you guys want to pick up something, go to their Facebook group. Just search for them. Any closing words, honey? Like you said, it's been a long season. Very long. It's nice that they wrapped it up finally. Finally. And we'll see how the spinoffs go. Yeah. Um, Which one you think going to survive? 
first thought is I don't I don't see myself being too into the prequel when you got young ghosts. <laughs> and then they had Carl from Shameless being Tommy. You know what? You got young Tommy, young ghosts, and young uh what is it? Angela. Angela. And of course Tasha gonna be in there somewhere. Kanan well. gonna be in there. So I I don't Bree's gonna be in there. I don't there. see myself going all the way that far to the beginning to see that story develop. Okay. Um, I guess you know, I think it's interesting that they're throwing Therese in the college. I mean, um, Tariq in the college scene. Okay. So I, I, I'll watch that and see how it goes. Um, okay. I'm still not. It's still not clear whether or not Tommy is going to have a spinoff. Tommy and Tate getting something called um, power influence. Okay. Well, I'll follow Tommy and Tate as well. Okay. But we'll see. Yeah. They have to do a lot of work to get me to watch the prequel. But I'll tune in. But we'll see if I stay tuned. She'll be. She'll have her butt right here doing these reviews with me. So y'all post your comments down below. Follow me for my Wednesday review of For Life that come on 10 o'clock on ABC this Tuesday. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Follow us on the podcast. Follow me on Instagram. That is the easiest way to contact me, leave me messages. You wanna talk about content I cover, services I offer, sponsors on my video, hit me on the gram, leave me a message. And until that next sex is hell video. We'll see you.